Hey everyone, it's Bailed John back in their video, and today we're going to be building out our Ash 12 teams. I'm going to showcase a couple of more beginner comps so that you can go ahead and run Ash 12. After my video yesterday on Ash 14 or Hell Stage 2, a lot of people were asking about the original Ash 12 comps and how we build them. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to build an Ash 12 team without a Legendary or an Athalia, and I'll go over the options in just a moment. But we're going to dive into the beginner comps, the Ice Wolf comp, and then the other one that I went over yesterday for Hell Stage 2, but you could use that exact same team for Stage 12. Let's jump into it. All right, so this is the first comp. This is going to be the Ice Wolf comp. Uh, it was created by Andy, another YouTuber, but basically the generalization of this comp is you're going to be speed tuning all your characters so that your Ash boss can actually go ahead and use the Sacrificial Cannon when the imps are up. And when he does that, he removes 50% of his HP, and then it's much easier to kill him, which makes this team extremely, extremely fast. Now, with this squad, you're also going to need a pretty well-geared Nathalia, um, and your Santis can be, you know, pretty much uh, just tankier stats. With Curse Set is preferred. Uh, it actually increases the viability of this comp, and I'll go over that in just a moment as well. And then Mary and Ice Wolf don't need too much gear, but we're gonna go over all the speed tune in just a second here. Let's go. All right, so we are on my alt account, so we have significantly less stats than I would on my main account. And there's a couple things that we need to know about Nathalia's build because she is the most difficult one to build in this comp. Uh, and the first thing that you'll need to know is her attack and crit damage need to be high enough in order for you to kill off the imps when you only have two buffs on the boss stage. She needs to kill them in one round uh, because if she does not, the comp is going to fail. But she also cannot have like guard set or curse set because it messes up the run entirely. Now, the second thing to mention is that she actually needs a decent amount of HP and defense because you will end up dying sometimes if your Nathalia isn't like super well geared and you're not killing off the boss quick enough with Santis and with Nathalia here. So the HP and defense subset or stats here are actually quite useful. And then the third thing for Nathalia is you have to make sure she's going before the waves go, but after the boss goes. She needs that sweet spot of around like 127 to 139 speed. Um, it doesn't really matter in between that, whatever those numbers are, uh, but you do need to be between, between that speed 127 and 139. Uh, I believe that's where the waves go. So that's going to be the speed that we need. Now, if you're building out an Athalia and you happen to have a revival set, it actually does increase the chance of you winning this because it's not 100%. There's a couple things that go, can go wrong, and I'll go over all the methods that you can you know, increase your win rate. Uh, the first one will be that your Nathalia is really well geared, and she has a lot of high HP defense and a lot of attack stats, right? So she's going to kill off the boss much quicker. The second part of this is going to be Santis and Ascension 5 Santis. If you have Ascension 5 Santis, it's going to be 100%. Uh, I have not failed with Ascension 5 Santis so far. So keep that in mind. And you're going to want to run a curse set on her, even if you don't have Ascension 5 Santis. And the reason for this is you actually don't need the extra tanky stats on Santis because of uh, the uh, boss not hitting crazy hard so you only need her like really more survivable than Nathalia or around the same area uh, preferably more survivable but that's not too difficult to get and curse set will help you land a little bit of extra poisons to make sure you're not in that one to four percent hp threshold for the boss so even though it's a 35 percent chance if it does proc uh in that case where you would have failed otherwise that 35 percent chance comes and helps you out there um, the other thing that you're going to want to note for Santa is that she's going to need to be the fastest character on your squad. Uh, so that could be anywhere from, you know, 150 to 400 speed, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. And high focus, preferably around 60 to, you know, 80% focus. Uh, a little bit higher than this because I think we still got occasionally resisted, very, very occasionally. But uh, it's still overall solid stats. Then the last two pieces, which are more of the enablers for this comp, and that is Mary first. And Mary needs to go uh, before the boss, but after Santa is here, and that's why she's at 144 speed. And there's a couple things that you can know about Mary is, one thing you could build her with is what I'm doing here, which is a revival set and extra tankiness, so that she could actually survive the hits, and then at the end of the battle, she can get a bonus turn to uh, Nathalia, and actually help Nathalia do a little bit more damage to the boss. Uh, obviously, that will require your uh, Mary here to be better geared than the average Mary in this comp. The other way you could build this is that Mary has very, very low HP, and so she actually dies before that even happens. So around like 6, 7k HP, and she just goes ahead and dies 
before we even get to that point and you don't have to worry about uh the boss throwing a bomb on you in the last or which is another way we could fail. And I'll showcase all of these attempts inside the run so that you can kind of keep along. But the last part is going to be Ice Wolf. And the Ice Wolf, really there's only two components that you need to know about the Ice Wolf. One, it needs to go before the boss, but after Mary. 142 speed is perfect right behind Mary. Uh, and then the boss threshold is about 141. So you need everyone about 141 or above. Second thing is 3,500 3, HP or more. And the reason for this is if he gets hit by the bomb and he doesn't deflect, if that bomb goes ahead and kills the Ice Wolf, it'll blow up your whole squad. He needs to survive at least one hit from the bomb. Uh, and, of course, he'll take the bomb and then he'll just die off uh, with last breath. And I'll explain all that in just a second. But he's really just here for the counterattack. So Dothalia gets that buff and we're hitting a little bit of extra times on the boss. So let's go ahead and run a run real quick and just go through all the different ways that he can fail. Uh, and things to look out for in your own comp. Because... Uh, really, that's where a lot of people struggle with this comp is that you build it out, speed tunes are fine, you don't understand what you're missing in the comp when you do fail. So let's go ahead and run a run. Just to know, we're going to be running Last Breath and Defense Down. We don't want to run Shield of Mercy or Gaia's Renewal. We do not want Nathalia to get too many buffs so that she kills off all the imps. That is going to be an instant fail, so it's important to run anything without buffs. And Last Breath is perfect, you absolutely need this. The Defense Down helps a little bit, but oftentimes it's really just there because we don't have any other spell that's going to contribute to us winning really um so we're going to be running that those two and let's go ahead and run the run and it's pretty simple here because the first round mary's going to put up uh the buff so nathalia is going to kill off the wave here and then we're just going to go closer to the boss fight and just go ahead and showcase the real part of this comp which is Mary's going to put up the Invincible now, and it's going to come up right when that ultimate ability from the Ash boss comes up. So we are going to basically kill himself. He's going to kill himself because of that 50% HP sacrifice. But you're going to need to be able to kill all these imps off uh, in the first couple of waves, which shouldn't be too difficult because you need to be able to kill off the imps in the boss stage. And if you're doing that, you can easily kill off these imps. So that's pretty simple. And then we can see here the imps are going to spawn. We're going to be focusing down the boss, obviously. Sandus' skills are off because we want as many poisons as we can get. And then we're going to be getting hit by the boss here. And this skill will 100% kill the Ice Wolf, which is perfect. And then Nathalia will go right after the boss. And she's going to get two buffs. So it's important to note here, uh, we have two buffs on Nathalia. So if you're not able to kill the imps off with two buffs then you are going to fail. This is one of the bigger things with Nathalia in this comp. A lot of people see, okay, I got a buff up and I'm killing off the imp sometimes, but I'm not killing off other times. It's because Nathalia's basic here has a chance of getting her any of these random buffs. And if she gives herself attack up here, it's actually going to basically get replaced by her passive and she's going to have two buffs. If you get a third buff, then it'll give her an additional 10% damage from her passive. And so you're going to need to make sure that you kill it, all these imps off, or at least two of the imps off, uh, or sorry, three of the imps up here, without that 10% increased damage. So as well as that happening, we revived Ice Wolf with Last Breath, and he's going to die after the next skill goes off, so it's not a huge deal. So you can see here, we're going to go ahead and hit the boss, and we're going to kill off the two imps here, just barely, uh, and we're going to get the bomb here and that's why we need ice wolf at 3500 hp because if the boss kills you and then you put up the uh bomb here and it hits the ice wolf we need to make sure he doesn't die you can see there that the ice wolf did die from last breath and the boss went ahead and sacrificed 50 percent of the hp and we all didn't take a single point of damage that's because mary's invincible skill is timed perfectly in regards to blocking that major skill. And that's one of the reasons why this squad is so, so quick at dealing with the uh, Ash encounter. Now, the second thing is, if you do not have another buff that you get and you get the attack buff a second time, as you can see here, we ended up getting the critical damage up. If you end up getting the attack up a second time, you're only gonna have uh, the enough buffs to kill off two imps here, and you're gonna be left with one imp. So that imp is going to hit you. If you do not have the tanky stats to survive that imp hit, on your Nathalia, on your Santis, then you will fail as well from that hit. Now, this is where the difference in comp kind of comes in in regards to Mary. So Mary here on my squad is going to have enough HP to survive up until this point and a little bit after because of the revival set and the HP. But right here, 
the boss is going to go ahead and go and he's going to go ahead and hit whoever but mary is oftentimes going to die for a lot of people and you can see there she actually ended up giving Nathalia a bonus turn and it's going to kill off the boss here so if your mary's squishy she's going to die and you're gonna to have to go through another round here with the santis with the Nathalia, and that's completely fine if your mary is tanky enough she's going to go ahead and grant that bonus turn to Nathalia. it's based off whoever has the lowest current hp which is why you want your santis to be tanky and your mary to be tanky and your Nathalia, obviously to be less tanky than them so mary always gives that bonus turn to Nathalia. And that's going to be the end of this run. There's one other way you can fail. Uh, and this is if Mary does survive past that round and you don't have enough poisons that you landed on the boss to kill the boss that round. So you go up another round and your Mary or your Nathalia or your Santis is not tanky enough and they're very low on HP. The bomb, the Ash can throw a bomb. And if your characters are low enough and the bomb kills them, it will blow up your whole squad. So it's important to note that your Mary, your Santis, and your Nathalia need to be somewhat tanky, or you need some really good damage stats on your Nathalia. And that's pretty much the entirety of the Ice Wolf comp uh, when you're building out the comp and how it can fail. We're going to jump over to my main account and showcase the comp I just showcased yesterday, but in place of stage 12 here. All right, so we're on my main account here, and we have the all the stats here for Hell Stage 2. These are significantly higher than you need to beat Stage 12. And if you have not checked out my previous video on Hell Stage 2, you can go ahead and check that out in the card at the top above my head. And so what we're going to need here is we're, we're going to need 141 speed or more than that. So we don't need quite 149 speed. You're going to need to go before the boss uh, for this team to work. Again, you don't need as much attack and crit damage. And you don't need as much HP and defense, although it does help. You also do not need a revival set uh, for this stage. And you can also run a curse set if you would like. Uh, because that curve set will allow you to do a little bit more damage and it won't mess up the comp where you cannot run that in the Ice Wolf comp. That is one way you can fail. And then we have the other pieces, which is Santis. Again, she's just going to be wanting to run uh, preferably a curse set if you can get it. It'll help the damage out. But revival set is nice. The speed tune doesn't really matter. Just high focus and high defensive stats. William just needs high focus. You're absolutely going to want him to be running faster than Nathalia here high focus, and you're going to want him faster than Nathalia if she gets that speed buff up from Joseph, which is plus 30 speed. Next up is going to be Joseph, and I've already went over all these pieces, so I'm going over them very, very quickly here. Uh, we're going to want him to go first, and we're going to want a lot of HP and defense, and we're going to want a lot of focus on him so he can land the defense down up from the spells. So let's go ahead and run this, but instead of running it in Hell Stage 2, we're going to go ahead and run this in uh, Stage 12 here. And having an Ascension 5 Santis really does make this comp very, very easy to gear compared to not having one. And we're just going to go ahead and run it. It's going to be very, very quick. It's going to be similar speed to the Ice Wolf comp. A little bit slower because the Ash boss is not going to go ahead and take 50% damage chunk, which is one of the reasons why the Ice Wolf comp is so desirable because it is about a 1 minute 40 to 2 minute 20 uh, run. Whereas this comp will end up taking you usually on average about 230 to 40 to 3 minutes uh, depending on whether or not you have the Ascension 5 Santis and how well your Nathalia is geared. So as you can see here, we're just cruising along and uh, we're getting all the buffs up on Nathalia here and we're killing off all the waves. Pretty simple. Now, the bomb here doesn't matter at all because Joseph is just going to go ahead and cleanse it. So that's how we're going to deal with the bomb. Um, and then everyone else here is just to provide buffs and extra attacks for Nathalia. So we're going to clear out these imps. Now you'll see here, we're not going to clear out the imps on this stage. And that is okay, because instead of, actually we are because we're going to get the immunity, my bad. But oftentimes you're not going to have enough buffs to clear out the imps. But it's much easier to deal with them, because in Hell Stage 2 for Ash and Hell Stage 1, the way the imps work is directly at the end of the turn when the imps are spawned, uh, you're going to have them hit immediately, which makes it very, very difficult for you to compete with the boss because you need to kill off the imps ASAP. Otherwise, the imps are going to kill you off. In this, you have a turn leeway, so you can have, end up having your Nathalia kill them off a little bit slower, which is perfect. And you can see here, the run is pretty simplistic. You're just going to go ahead and kill off the imps, let Nathalia and Sanders do all the work to the boss. And then uh, William and Joseph here just provide buffs uh, for Nathalia so that she can kill everyone off. And the counterattack is very, very helpful in regards to killing off the imps as well. Now, uh, unfortunately, there isn't too many comps out there that you can run in Ash 
without Nathalia, and I did mention this at the beginning of the video. Uh, one of them is going to be one with Hydrissia. You could run Hydrissia instead of Nathalia here, um, and that would absolutely work. You could also run Ciara and Molhex. Uh, a combination of Hydrissia, Ciara, and Molhex will oftentimes work. It really just depends on, obviously, what other pieces you're bringing along, and obviously the comp will change around those pieces. Uh, so Blackhorn is obviously a great one. Uh, Santis is a good one, but sometimes you have to take her out. It's really about how you can deal with the imps in two turns like we just did, as you saw. If you're able to kill the imps off in two turns before the boss uses his sacrificial cannon, then you're going to normally have a clean run. You also need some way to deal with the bomb here, and that's why Joseph's in it. That's why Blackhorn's usually pretty good. The problem is clearing out those imps in two turns is very difficult without any of those four characters. It's very difficult to do with an elite. Actually impossible from current testing, at least in regards to my testing. So you need Nathalia, you need Molhex, you need Hydrissia, you need Ciara, you need one of those four characters in order to clear out all the imps. Um, you might be able to use a couple others, but those are the ones that I found make it easiest um, and possible. So that's going to be two versions of the Ash 12 completed. And you can run this exact team all the way up to Hell Stage tw uh, 2, which I showcased in the previous video. The Ice Wolf comp is not going to work in Hell Stage 1 and 2. Keep that in mind if you are going to build it and you have the stats uh, and you plan on going for Hell Stage 2. The other thing is that when you build the Ice Wolf comp, your Nathalia is going to have to have that lower speed. So it prevents you from building out uh, more quick Nathalia builds. And then you'll have to swap gear around oftentimes uh, if you want her to go before characters like Zatlax or have a specific speed tune in other game modes, which is one of the reasons why I like this comp uh, and I built it originally on my main account because I enjoy having my Nathalia faster. So I don't have to constantly re her because of the Ice Wolf comp. So those are the two Ash 12 comps that uh, I showcased today. There's a few others, obviously. Those are the easiest that I've found. Obviously you're gonna need the characters, William, Nathalia. If you don't have William, you can run the Ice Wolf comp. If you do, you can run the one I just showed you. And Unfortunately, there's no other way to do it. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully this will help you get into Hell Stage 2, and I will see you for the next one.